is a basic guide to the front panel controls of the Discrete 8. To the left of centre on the front panel of the device are the precise 1dB stepped gain knobs for each of the eight console grade mic pre's. The gain level is visible on the front panel display when adjusting any of these knobs. Function button 1, the topmost button. Pressing function button 1 toggles the headphone 1 volume mute on off. Use the two smaller rotary controls alongside the headphone outputs to adjust either of the two individual headphone volume levels. Press and hold function button 1 to access the discrete 8 system menu, which I will explain in a moment. Use the rotary control to select an entry in the menu. Press the rotary control to enter the selected submenu. Turn the rotary control left or right to adjust the setting. Press the main rotary control to toggle monitor volume mute on off. Use the rotary control to adjust monitor volume. Press any of the function buttons to exit. Now for the discrete 8 system menu. COM interface lets you switch between USB and Thunderbolt mode. Use the appropriate setting for your connection. Device info shows the following information. Serial number, hardware revision, and firmware version. Screen save time. This adjusts the length of time before the screen saver turns on. The following options are available. Off, two minutes, five minutes, 15, 30, 60, or 120 minutes. Screen save style lets you choose the screen saver style. The following choices are available, star and black. Press the rotary control in to confirm. Next in the list allows you to adjust the various talkback volumes. For talkback headphone 1, talkback headphone 2, talkback monitor, talkback monitor 2 and talkback mic. Factory reset lets you restore factory presets. This is useful when troubleshooting the discrete 8. Be careful pressing the rotary control as it activates the function instantly without asking for confirmation. Function button 2, the middle button. Press function button 2 to cycle through two information panels. Display 1 shows sync, internal and external, sample rate, SPDIF connections, ADAT connections, and computer connections confirmation. Display 2 shows preamps 1 to 4, gain and mode, abbreviated as microphone M, line L, and hi -Z H. Display 3 shows preamps 5 to 8, gain and mode. Function button 3, the bottommost button, toggles the headphone 2 volume mute on off. Holding down function button 3 for 3 seconds opens the control menu with the following options. Power off, when pressed this turns off the discrete 8. Clock source, which specifies the discrete 8 clock source. You can choose between internal, word clock, ADAT, ADAT 2 times, ADAT 4 times, SPDIF and USB. Sample rate option changes the sample rate. Sample rates of 32 kHz all the way up to 192 kHz are supported. Peak meter allows you to choose what the peak meter is going to measure. The following options are available. Preamp, Comp Play, ADAT in, SPDIF in, Line out, Headphone 1 out, Headphone 2 out, Monitor out, Reamp Monitor 2, ADAT out, SPDIF out, and Mixer in. Beneath this, Monitor Trim adjusts monitor output trim between 14 to 20 dBU. Line out trim adjusts line out trim between 14 to 20 dBU. Monitor 2 or reamp options enable you to select the reamping outputs on the rear of the discrete 8 as a second monitor output. And finally, brightness adjusts the LCD display's brightness from 0 to 100.